Hey, it's Kevin DeWitt here. Welcome back to the Past East Prime YouTube channel and welcome back to Gloomhaven, where we're continuing on with our second attempt uh, since the newly updated, uh, balanced um, two levels. So we are doing the Roadside Ambush, the very first one of the Jaws of Lion DLC with all four characters and we're getting to know them a little bit better. Not great, but a little bit. And we've got through the first room, and it's time to move into the second room for the roadside ambush. So let's go. I don't know. We haven't really been doing our achievements, have we? So we've only killed... Hang on, who are we? Red Devil. We've only killed one monster. Okay, whatever. Um, We need to open the door. Yeah, it's a bit of a question of who. Now, you had a move somewhere about opening a door. Maybe, did we already burn it? I thought there, was, there it is. If you open a door during the movement, perform stun, target all enemies within range 3. That is a burn though, that's the only problem. Alright, let's just play this normally. Right, you see you have boots, so we can go in guns are blazing with you, sort of. Not sure if it's a good idea though. So we could do a move 4. We could... We haven't got many cards, but we could go for a big... Mm, a bit concerned about thinking we're going to do that when we may not be able to. I'm trying to remember what we saw. There was like, they weren't, were they clumped? I can't remember. Maybe we'll discover the piston punch. So we got, we're having you open the door, are we? So you could do a move three. You could do that and go after. You're going to go pretty late though, that's the only problem. But. Don't know, does it really matter? Okay, you don't have a good move. to burn mm. maybe we just use that just to move not use the actual burn we'll just move two because not sure there's much I can do there. We could use that one as a range attack. Again, we don't want to go too soon. Go sooner than that, though. And then you... So one ally within range 3 may perform a shield. That same ally may perform a move 2. So you could get somebody to go further. Could also do that top move. I 
Okay, there, but then if you do that top move, you can't do that one. Mm, yeah. Hang on. You could get in a lot further. So move to one, two. I mean, yeah, but you'd block the door if you do that. I could do that to. Okay, then you gotta move three, you could then curse somebody. But you're gonna go first if you do that, that's the only problem. I don't wanna go so early. That's the earliest you can go. Damn it! You are so slow, bloody... God, how do I go later than it with something useful? Uh, well, I can't do that one then. Get rid of that. So we're going to do that. Okay, I'm just going to hope that there's enough things in the way. Oh, okay. We're going to move four. We're going to add the boot. Right, so I'm going to go and open the door. Ooh, oh, what's the game lag? Like, no tomorrow. So we're going to end up with an attack to and a push. percent sure how that really helps me but Didn't need the push. What are you guys doing? Oh, okay. Attack to... Okay. Um... Okay, so I was thinking of doing just that. What do You're kidding me. Oh, there's a bloody range too. Oh, hang on. Okay, if we use the wind... How do you do... It's L, isn't it? Can't. How do you tell if it's... Uh, I think we're going to go with you. I'm not going to do a favourite. Okay. 
Okay. You've got two left, so let's leave that for now. Alright, now... I was going to move three. Is this going to cause a problem? Probably. Can he use dark? I am going to curse you. Consider yourself cursed. I'm going to save that. Ah, oh, we could have done a plus one instead of curse and Kurt. And the plus one would have been really handy. Plus I could have done the stamina if I wanted to. Didn't. What the hell? You can't do that. That's horrible. Oh, come on with these big hits. Great. I just get to burn all my good cards, eh? Alright, so we want to do... Damn it, I was hoping for a bloody positive number. Couldn't get it though. Okay, so we could do an attack two on the bottom. And this, yeah, okay. Let's just pick that. All right, uh, all right, Jesus, you need some healing. Target self and all allies within range two. That's a burn, but you know what? We can afford We can afford a burn, alright, so I'm going to move to... I want to go pretty early, though. One ally within range 3 may perform shield 1. That's how melee may perform move 2. I want to get you to go early. You're not going to go as early as him. Yeah, I don't want to take the chance of dropping him down. I'm just going to pick these two cards just for the sake of it. Oh, Jesus, you got a short rest. You are running out of cards. Okay. Uh, that, I mean, that'd be good, but I can't afford to burn. Okay, nobody's adjacent to walls. Okay, so she's going first, that's okay. Before jump, loot, loot. So raiders attacking, elites are attacking, the rest are just looting. So you're a scout. You are a scout elite. Scout elite. So 
Where's the Raiders? Back there. The other ones with knives. Okay. No, that's not what I was going to do. I was going to do this. So I think first... I'm not going to use the element. I'm just going to hit you. And kill you. And then I'm going to do this. Okay. Well, you're dead. So I can then move to... Okay. Oh man, I gotta think this through. Alright, so we can attack one, range three, add an extra attack and do a pull. So I'm thinking, because you are a scout elite. You're just gonna, yeah. So I'm gonna confirm you. Right, and then I'm gonna. And you're gonna die. And then I'm gonna end my turn. And that is good. Right. Okie dokie. Uh, so I said you could burn. So move to health three, target self and all allies within range two. So I'm just going to move over to here. Wait. What? Why did they not get healed? I'm confused. Void Warden heals Void Warden, Red Garden Guard and Oh, was she bloody poisoned again? For freaking sakes with this stupid poison. What's your moves? Oh, okay. We could, uh, yeah. Hang on. So I'm shielding. And then I'm going to move here. Okay. She got six gold. That's nice. Hang on, whose turn? Oh, it's your turn. Okay, um... Do you want to do that? Which one doesn't actually matter? Yeah. And then we're going to move four. I'm just going to get over here into the corner. Out of the way a little bit.
Okay, so you have an attack to there. Actually, you're better off doing that attack. Oh, come on. Well, now I may as well stay here. Because I wanted to kill you, then go here and hit him. So annoying. Another minus one, eh? Looks like you're going to be short resting anyway, so let's just end. You stole all the gold, you little brat. There's nothing left for you. Your other mate stole it all. Okay, what have we got now? We don't know what they're going to do. We've got three big guys at the back here. Get rid of these little ones. Get move four. Now, let's have a look at the demolitionist here. Move two, one adjacent in and in your wall. You're not going to get two... Attack to... Well, no one's near you. Hang on. Okay, so you could just move two to get in close to them. Unless they do a really fast move. Uh, then you could do a... Do, 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 do. Just the one-two punch. That'll do... We'll do the one-two punch... Short rest, you. Alright, so. Move three, then push. No, that's not going to help. You could do an attack, then a move. Get with that. You could disarm somebody in a range of three. Move four. Okay, let's do something like that. And then you uh, have no idea what I'm doing with you. Target all adjacent enemies with attack two. You'd have to be in the right spot, but you could do it. You are really fast, aren't you? You got a lot of low cards. <laughs> Not much in the high. So that's that one. But then you've got that bottom one there as well. Range of three. You have to go round obstacles or does it count? One, two. You're not going to get there anyway. Could shield. Oh. 
Alright. Let's just go with that. We'll see what happens. So move to attack one. Range three. Move to attack one. Disarm. Raider Elite. Damn it. Uh, there is that. Hang on. Who's... You guys are scout elites. Raider elites are going to disarm. No, they can't hit us anyway. So it doesn't matter. So what I was thinking of doing... Do I... I think we've got enough power over here to not bother using the fire this time. It, it paid. It paid. And that's not going to do much other than just shield myself, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. Can't immobilize. So just skip it. So I'm thinking we move here. Skip the ability and then we're going to hit... Oh, bonus. Absolute bonus. Okay, now I don't know what to do with you because we have taken everything away. Um, now if I... Don't have wind. Move three. How many cards... You still got a few. So you could move three. One, two, three. Now, if I did that. No, that's useless. That's our best move. So, skip the attack. Uh, I mean, I can't do anything anyway. It doesn't matter. There's no moves to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, let's just end the turn and grab the gold. Okay, now you were going to do something, though. I'm going to move four. Disarm one of you. Not sure what that is. And I'm going to force you to move right into your trap. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we can go with the move four. And that one there. Short rest you. Now, we got anything in the way of heal. So we could heal and poison again, as we always do. Or we could... Hang on. So you're not poisoned at the moment. Do that with you, and then you need to short rest. You're running out of cards, big time. Okay, you've got... Not much. Not much at all. Go the move four again. Okay, move two, attack two. Okay. Uh, they're going last, okay. Let's go over here. Oh, we didn't have fire to do. Oh, it's alright. We can... Yeah, it would have been nice to have got the two shields, but... We can do that. Oh, that's a big hit. I like that. So, I was thinking of doing... Take your pick. So, who are you? Uh, you could do... Man, you could do a big hit with that tax 6 if I decided to. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, that was not the greatest. Let's just get some money. All right, Hatchet's turn. So, how many cards? You're running out of cards, but still got a few. There's only three left. We could go for a huge hit. You get two XP as well. Here's what you could do, right? You could do that. Skip the movement. Confirm the target. He gets damaged pretty good. I then do this. I'm going to burn the card, but I'm going to hit you. Give you the favorite. 
damn it, minus one. Oh, still eight damage. Two, three. I mean, we could pull one back. Why not? Center mass? Why not? Let's do that. That is the most complicated card I've ever seen in my life. Um, yeah, we could really heal you up massively, but then again, maybe they won't hit you. Can I not... Wait, I'm disarmed, so can I not heal? What I was thinking of doing was hitting, but we can't do that, can we? I could just do that. Now I could move. I was going to say I could heal them again, but why don't I just move? Let's do that. I'm not, uh... Okay. And we got the Retaliate. That was nice. Only one, but... Alright. We have two around us now. Attack two, target two, that's a range. What we could do is do the move to jump shield and then I could do that fancy move, I don't know. What can you do? Yeah, just pick your two moves. It's simple. Attack two, range three, heal two, heal one adjacent. I'm not really sure what I want to do here. Damn it. Oh, what do I always get into this position? Let's go with that. And then you... What do I want to do? Force all enemies within range through to perform attack to targeting enemies of your choice adjacent to them. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. One, two, three, no. That's... 
No, you know what? I'm just going to do that one. Alright, let's go. Okay, push one. Target all adjacent enemies. Attack three. Range three. Okay, so I'm thinking of jumping, so here. We'll shield up. I don't know if I want to pull. Uh, You get the second attack, though. Okay, well, we don't need the pull. Alright, and then you can move to... That's two gold, two gold. They're all two gold, right? Let's grab the gold. Okay, well, that was work that's working. Right, you have what? Could do that attack too, or that one. Move and loot, move, move. I think I'd rather do the range. So we will push. Alright, we're gonna do that. Yo! Kidding. That's not good. Okay, hang on. So force all enemies with range three to perform attack two. No. Attack two. Okay, I want to use that. I'm going to use that. We're going to hit you with everything. And we are going to kill you. We are then going to move four and grab some more gold. Skip the movement. End the turn. And I believe we have a victory. Can you believe it? Oh, who? Oh, hang on. I didn't even keep track of that. Okay. So you got five or more monster scenarios. One perk point. That is nice. Why can I not move this? Okay, you didn't get yours. You got yours. Kill a monster attack by any... In the same round. Only one. The hatchet. Didn't get his perk point. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I would have liked to have got them all, but I wasn't paying attention. Ooh. Well, that was uh, 
it's still challenging for me, but at least we got through it. But I mean, as I said, we're on easy mode, so take that into account. You wipe the blood of the last Vermling from your face, and your thoughts return to the sleeping lion. Surely they've got a stew ready by now. It would be so perfectly warm and soothing, and it's right through that gate, so close you can already taste it. But then, another thought comes. It is highly unusual, brazen really, for a pack of vermlings to operate this close to the city. Could they be behind the string of disappearances? It's a long shot, but one worth investigating. Especially considering this ambush site doesn't look like the base of their operations. There is probably a nest nearby that, with any luck, will have more information on the missing blacksmith. And treasure. Treasure would be nice. All right, and we got four XP. New quest location, best of the best. And a hole in the wall. You've unlocked the city quest. You can access it by clicking on Gloomhaven, the city map button, or clicking on the new quest in the log. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a saw. Is that a... How do you tell... It's a side quest, but is that part of the... Is it part of Gloomhaven, or... I mean, that's definitely Jaws of the Lion, because it's got the symbol... It's got the color, but it's, yeah, I don't know. All right, so what do we get? So we didn't get a massive, oh my God, he's got four gold. What are you going to do with that, mate? How are you going to spend all that money? So wait, we got perk points. What happened to the perk points? Oh my god, we didn't get any perk points after all of that. Oh, that's really great. And we got bugger all money because playing on easy mode, you get no money. It's, yeah, it's just... It's atrocious how much money you do not get. What do you even have? There's nothing we can even do. XP is atrocious. Yeah, I mean, I sort of get it in a way that they don't want you to level up much and do much when you play in easy mode. But then if you're someone like me that struggles as much as possible, it would be really nice to still level up and things like that. You see, you know, I see people playing, you know, the higher difficulties and they get so much money and so much points and XP straight away. It's like they're leveling up constantly. And I know they need it because they are playing the game so hard. But you don't get the same, like if you're not good at the game and you play it in the easy mode because you want to enjoy it and be good at it or feel like you're good at it, even though you're not you don't really get the same benefits because you don't get any of these items or anything like that. So you're always, even though you're playing it easy, you partially end up struggling because you can't level up like they do with the harder difficulties. So it's sort of like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it ends up being balanced in the end. Now, maybe I'm wrong. I probably am, but you know, that's my thoughts. It's just like, you don't get any rewards. Anyway, I guess the reward is, is that we finished. <laughs> so we should be honored that we finished that. Oh, that has to be 
uh, um, that side quest has to be a Jaws of the Lion because it says the Hatchet wants to prove they're the greatest fighter in Gloomhaven. And the Hatchet is part of uh, Jaws of the Lion. So there you go. Anyway, we're going to call it there. We'll come back maybe in another video if people want to see it and do a hole in the wall. Um, and we'll see how we go with that. So we've got Vermlings again. Love Vermlings. And uh, some sort of snake. Really nice. All right, so if you like the channel and you want to support it further, check the description below. There's a link to a Patreon site and a link to a virtual coffee site. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out immensely, and I really do appreciate the support. Most importantly, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the game, of the scenario of this DLC, Jaws of the Lion. Are you playing it? How are you going? Um, you know, do you like the content? Do you want to give me advice? thing all that sort of stuff anything's welcome put it in the comments and yeah i read all the comments and answer every comment that warrants an answer as soon as i possibly can hopefully you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one